Five Beefy Guru. Today we're going to be looking at uh, creating our thermal um, material uh, ready to set up thermal vision. Um, so, what do we need? We first of all, now I've I've already done this tutorial. I made it, and I was like, I don't like this. I want to refilm it. So, uh, hence why I've already set up the actual function for the thermal vision. All I did was basically copy exactly what we've done for our night vision, although this one looks a bit all over the place compared to this one. Um, I set up another uh, post-process um, variable, uh, and I called it thermal vision. Exactly how we did it in the night vision one. Just pull it out, right click, promote to variable, and then give it a name. Uh, then click on this thermal vision we want to find where it says rendering features and we want to click on post process material and we'll add a new one and we'll go asset reference and we'll be using this momentarily come to the materials section uh, I've already created one but just right click material thermal vision toot pp underscore matte It'll do. It's quite a, a bit of a mouthful, but that's fine. Uh, and then what we want to do to begin with is set our material domain to a post process. That will just expose our emissive color. We want to get two scene uh, textures like so. We want the first one to be uh, custom, 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 custom depth. Right. Copy paste. We want the next one to be. Uh, duh, 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 duh. scene depth there we go easy peasy then we want to get a mask component mask and we just want to expose the R value and we want to do that twice like so <clears throat> next we want to subtract uh, the one from the other like so give ourselves a lot of, we're gonna need a lot of space for this by the way uh, we then want a clamp and we then want a minus one minus so one minus uh, we can plug that in uh, and we can then if we pull that over there come back to here we can then put in our thermal uh, oh, I obviously didn't spell it right. I called it Hermal. Hermal. We want a Hermal vision. Plug that in. Of course, spell yours correctly. Call it Thermal for obvious reasons. Um, now, before we it'll actually do anything, we need to click on our mesh and we want to type in render. And we want to tick render custom depth pass. Mine wasn't on the first time I made the tutorial and I was spent 10 minutes wondering why it wasn't working that's why you need to make sure your render custom path is turned on so obviously if it's not it ain't gonna do nothing let's give it a test press oh is this something I haven't done Ooh. oh there you go Yeah, don't forget to apply the actual thermal settings. And then if you click play, you get, um, it goes all black, but if you're in third person and you activate it, you can, it's obviously exposed um, our player. So now that we've exposed the player from the scene, what we need to do now is start creating the actual texture itself. For this, we're gonna need, um, oh, I didn't want to comment that, but there we go. We want two constant vectors. Now, play around with the colors that you want your scene to be, but um, I'm going to go for 0, 0 .01, 0 0.018 for the first. For the second, I'm going to go 0, 0 0.065 and 5.0, oh, 5, 5.16, like so. Uh, we need a scalar parameter. Call this uh, Fresnel EXP. We also want to get a Fresnel 
like so. Plug that into the X uh, uh We then want to get um, a lerp. Plug both of these in to there, and the Fresnel as the alpha. We also want to get a world. Uh, we want to get another scene texture. We want to set this one to world normal. Where's world normal? World normal. There it is. Uh, we want to get um, another mask component component mask but we want to expose all three for this and you just plug that into the normal and that's that part done now I'm going to copy and paste this down we're going to delete the lerp out we're going to get ourselves another consonant hold three and press for that one and then we want to get a three color blend and all three of these are going to go into this and that Fresnel is going to go back into there. Change this to two just to keep it from getting confusing because you could set up a um, um, oh, you could set up a parameter material that can obviously be then changed on the fly. Not that I think you'd need to for something like this, but you you could uh, hold L down for lerp. Put this lerp into A. Put the color blend into B. And then the alpha needs to be the minus one. And that gets plugged straight into your emissive color. Now we want to change these colors to something a little bit more useful. Um, I'll set mine up to what I, I've set mine up to in my other material. Uh, the first one's going to be one, 0 0.08, and then zero. You should end up with a nice red color. The next one is 0 0.3. Uh, 0 0.78 and then 0 for a nice green color and the blue one is going to be 0 0 0.54 and then 1 and that should then set up your um, your three colors like so okay now the last part of this should be relatively straightforward. We want a texture coordinate. Uh, we also want another um, parameter called uh, noise scale. We'll set this to one. Oh, like so. And we want that to go into a multiply. Uh, we then want a panner like so and we want to set these values the speed x to 1.5 and the speed y to 1.5 we then want to get ourselves a texture coordinate no we don't we want a uh, texture sample plug that into the uv we then want to get a, now if you've enabled your en engine content you should be able to get a blue noise texture which we can now make use of. Uh, we then want to multiply the B value, only the B, with another scalar parameter called noise uh, multi. We'll set this to 0 0.0075, something very, very small uh, into there. Uh, then we want to get one last texture coordinate and we want to add, oh, not ass, oh god, <laughs> add that multiplied to the texture coordinate, uh, and then that can get put, oh, drag it back a little bit, I haven't left myself much space, no, I'm pulling off stuff, oh god, add that into the two UVs of the world normals, and that should be the texture setup, don't forget to obviously hit that apply button, press the play button, now if we activate this, it's not quite there, let's have another look at what I've done wrong here, ah, I've set the Fresnels up to zero, change those Fresnels to 1.2, both of them, and that should 
make all the difference. There we go. And we have our heat vision. And for anything else you want to pick up on that heat vision, whether it's other characters uh, or other objects, just make sure that custom random render depth, depth is ticked on those objects and it should work perfectly for you. Hopefully this tutorial has been really helpful for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like and leave a little comment with anything you want me to cover. And if you've really enjoyed yourself, hit that sub button. It's free and you can always change your mind. Thank you so much, guys. Take care. Bye.